Welcome to Wesley's channel and this is Wesley's news. Something like a clue or something like a one concept that will cover all of the guys starting from Tariel Kapanaze through Akua, Rasmus, Anonymous, SR and others. There will be a special arrangement of the coils. And here we have something interesting for you to watch and eventually try to duplicate and see if it works for you. But it's up to you. Большое спасибо, Фред Виктор. Очень хороший видик. Мне очень понравился. Пожалуйста, я сделаю тебе маленький подарок. Перебью это. Добавьешь свои информации. Поставь себе на свой канал. Я приглашаю всех людей с всего мира, которые могут зайти на твой канал. Конечно, не каждый говорит по-русски, но думаю, что это довольно хорошо сделано твоими руками. Конечно, вопросы есть, просьбы. Я все это вставил здесь, в этот видео, и попытался переказать так, чтобы ты мог понять. Первое, что было бы хорошо, это показать трансформатор без пленки. Примерное количество витков и так далее. Hello everyone, today we're going to be working on a very special transformer that does not show significant change or noticeable change of energy delivered versus energy consumed. Experimenter states that energy consumed by the load does not correspond to the energy that is being delivered from power supply. Each one of the light bulbs is 4 watts, so the total consumption is supposed to be 8 watts, but instead it is 4.6 what's stated. The important part for you to understand is that when the load is not connected, then the device uses 4.6 watt. But if it is connected, the device uses 4.6 watt plus 500 microamp up to 1 milliamp. Three ferrite bars with the winding as stated on the schematic. Power consumption before the load conducted and after the load is connected differs about half of a milliamp or one milliamp, and he states that's because a uh, coil is not idea a coil that does have negligible inductive component. His suggestion is that if it was done properly, it would not consume power at all. One arm shunt resistor is connected to the voltmeter. The polarization of the voltmeter is important when we deal with positive part of the square wave signal only. But in case if we were dealing with the full wave, full period square wave signal, then the polarization of the voltmeter is not important, doesn't exist, and is not possible to be shown. For the naked eye, if the frequency, or in other words, a rate of change of direction of the signal, is higher than 24 cycles per second. The problem with measurement that I may have in here is that the typical shunt doesn't have reactive component. This pure resistance, that means that whenever we connect a capacitor into the circuit, we're creating a filter, which then reacts based on the capacitive component of the capacitor, its value, and also frequency delivered, or frequency variation. So again, the problem that I'm having here is that we're dealing no longer with pure resistance, we're dealing with the dynamic arrangement. The dynamic arrangement depends strictly from the shape of the signal at the given delta t or time frame we take the measurement. So then we need to have averaging in order for us to find out if that what is happening is happening. Так, 
можно отключаем. Общий сопротивление близко не снимается. After the load is connected, the current consumption is 270 mA. Upper graph represents current and the lower one represents voltage. Now he is disconnecting the load and will show how the graph change. As you see, voltage on the load no longer exists. As you see, there is no change in the current consumption. Что еще? А, да, вот мультиметр показывает без нагрузки 108,5 мА. Мультиметр на the shunt resistor show 108.9 mA. With the load off and now switch to load on. And again load off. So connected load and disconnected load, the difference is 1 mA, or less than 1 mA. или вольт здесь 1 ом 1 миллиампер общая мощность которая здесь сейчас лампа по 4 ватта а, значит горят они 2 на 4 ватта потребляя где-то 4,6 ну distance it because of the very special way the transformer is winded uh, the total usage of the power is about one milliamp at max per hundred microamp at minimum. And he shows right now connecting and disconnecting uh, the load that the upper graph of the current doesn't change at all. And here I'm giving you a few examples of what we should do or should not do or how we should measure. The best is to use the probes and at that point we are actually avoiding a situation in which the capacitive reactance might of mess up with our measurement. Some final conclusions. The permeability of the ferrite is giving you just Q. So some of the properly tuned air base coils might react very much similar way. It's just a matter of the winding. Is the system working or is not? It's a good question. I believe if Tariel Capanazzo was able to make a device that works and Akua and Vasmos, Anonymous, Dali, Ruslan, SR, plenty of others, it must work. Does this particular device work is yet to be conformed, but it's interesting and it does have a lot of merits. However, if it works, we're gonna find soon. I would like to say a few nice words to Saudi Arabian guys. Salam alaikum. Thank you for carefully watching every step of mine. I know that there are plenty of uh, bright people over there, educated one, like in every country. So you probably have somebody who is kind of worried about what am I doing here. So I wish you the best, guys. And now for the Canadian viewers. And now Canada. 
Canada is a great country with European spirit. Enormously valuable people. And I have plenty of friends over there. However, there are three or four guys, or maybe one person who has a four account, who always doesn't like my videos. But he's spending the time for every video to watch. So my question for you is, if you don't like it, give yourself a break. Don't watch it. Unless you are oil guy who doesn't like me for who I am and what I do. Anyhow, I wish you the best as well. Guys, we're gonna screw the empire. And I'm pretty sure that it's gonna happen. The only question is when. Thank you for watching. This is Wesley, and it's Wesley's News.